Hey, I'm the German, and uh, welcome to the Cena Prism Review. What is a gun doing in your trousers? It's for protection. Protection from what? The Germans. Hey guys, welcome to the review. Um, I was going to use the audio from my Prism, but I read it off a sheet of paper, so it didn't sound all that good. And like the quality was good, but it just didn't sound natural. So I'm doing, redoing this on my home uh, headset, <laughs> so the audio is going to be pretty shit. I apologize. The way that I'm going to do this review is I'm going to actually just talk about the Prism and give you details about it. The video itself will change to all the different recordings I've made in different lighting conditions and also mounting options and I'll annotate that so that you know what you're looking at for example overcast, cloudy, raining, etc. Alright to start off with all the footage that I've caught for the review is in 1080p at 30 frames per second which is the prism's maximum resolution and frames per second. Any footage of the actual camera itself or it mounted um, will be taken by my Nikon DSLR which is a Nikon D7100, also in 1080 at 30 frames per second. The Cena Prism is uh, Cena's first foray into the action camera market. Um, it currently retails in Australia at $449, I believe, and you can get it from a place called MrMobile.net.au. The Cena Prism is perfect if you're looking to record yourself or someone else on your way to work, general riding, just anything really. You could use it as a car mounted uh, dash cam, uh, but you're probably better off getting a proper dash cam. One of the great things about the Cena Prism is that right out of the box it will work as advertised and you'll have awesome audio quality if you're pairing it with any other Cena device like a 20S or an SMH10 or 10R or any of the other variances of Cena products. And the same goes for any other manufacturers of Bluetooth headsets. You just connect your mounts, put the camera where you want to put it, aim it where you want to aim it, hit record and you're good to go. If you want more details about what you get with the Prism, uh, such as what's in the box and what it looks like compared to a GoPro, um, please check out my Cena Prism unboxing. The link will be on the screen now. So please click on that if you want to see what's in the box and what you get when you buy a Cena Prism. The Cena Prism's a fairly small camera. It's about the same size as a GoPro Hero 3. Um, it has four different video or recording modes, I should say, which is video recording, um, time lapse, still frames, and burst shot. It also has several different options if you're recording audio. Once again, audio will only record if you're recording a video. You have uh, audio recording via Bluetooth or the microphones that are built into the actual Cena Prism. These have three settings being uh, no microphone off, low gain and high gain. The Cena Prism is also said to be waterproof to one meter and uh, I have got a video where I am riding in extremely heavy rain and there are no issues with the Cena Prism or the Cena 20S. A link to that will be up on the screen now. With that being said, if you use the housing that you get with the Prism, it's 40 meters waterproof. So you can, you know, take it with your diving or snorkeling or whatever. Now back to the audio side of things. This is where Cena just goes above and beyond what the competition does. It's designed to be used specifically with other Cena products but you can also use it with other third-party Bluetooth headsets that you can buy, like Scale Riders, all the other ones, there's heaps. It can connect to any Bluetooth. The audio recording for other Bluetooth devices that aren't Cena is restricted to normal definition, which is not as good quality and sounds a bit like a walkie-talkie. Uh, with all the Cena products, however, you have the option of recording in HD which sounds quite good. So on top of the audio recording feature, another awesome bit of information that you might not know is that you can also use your Cena products to 
change settings, hit record, hit stop from your Bluetooth device, which means your left hand, where your Bluetooth device is normally attached to your helmet, can control your camera, which can be on your handlebars, on the back of your bike, on the side of your helmet, on top of your helmet, wherever. That's great because it's one device and it's your left hand, which is a clutch hand, so you can quickly take it off and press a button, change a setting, you know. So back to the audio again real quick. Another awesome feature is group recording. Now, what the Cena allows you, the Cena system, I should say, allows you to do is connect with other riders while you're riding. The Prism takes advantage of this and uses that functionality to be able to record the entire group conversation. So if you have four riders all connected, all riding, the Prism will record not only your voice, but the voices of the three other riders as well. There is a limit to how many riders you can be connected to, and also the quality does deteriorate the more riders you have. As soon as you have more than two riders, the quality of the audio drops to standard definition. With two riders, you can still record in HD mode. Uh, so moving away from the audio now, we're going to talk a bit about what you get in the box, mainly the mounts. You get a lot of good mounting options. If you prefer clamping, they have an awesome clamp mount, which is akin to the clamp mounts that you get for the 20S and the SMH10. Um, if you don't like that, you can also sticky mount it, side, top, wherever. There is a bar mount, which you can put on your handlebars or any other tubular surface, such as, I don't know, your rear foot pegs, maybe. Wherever you want to put the camera, you'll be able to put it. The suction cups, I haven't used yet because I don't trust suction cups in the best of circumstances, but if you have experience with suction cups, they should work as advertised and you'll be able to put them on any flat surface that's clean. That's including car bumpers or, you know, on your tank. Now, as for battery life, the Prism runs at about two hours with the Bluetooth on. So that's not too bad, not too bad at all. But you can charge it while it's recording, which means if you have a battery backpack or, you know, a battery of some description, you can plug a USB cable into it and plug it into the back of the Prism. You can have unlimited recording time, depending on how big your SD card is. The Prism has got a removable battery pack, so if you don't have or don't want to put a cable to the back of it while you're riding, you can just get a couple extra batteries and swap them over every two hours or so. Dumping back to the SD card, I've contacted Cena and they've stated that they will not be putting a 64 gigabyte card option. The Cena comes with a maximum card capacity of 32 gigabytes. Another feature that isn't available yet, but hopefully will be soon according to Cena, is the ability to listen to music while you're recording your audio. At the moment this isn't available and when you record your music will stop and that's it. In future, uh, hopefully a firmware update will be released where they rectify this issue. In terms of audio quality, um, the next couple of clips will be me talking on my Cena 20S being recorded by the Prism and also a short clip of myself and my partner uh, riding and talking to each other. Please note that with all this footage I haven't changed any of the audio settings. I've left everything at default and it works for my opinion perfectly. I've got to remember now that I can actually talk to you. <laughs> Can you actually, can you hear me alright? Yeah, it's really strange talking inside a helmet. <laughs> yeah, it is, eh? We've got, I've got, we've got to fiddle with it a little bit, because it's not, our uh, audio communication currently isn't in HD. Yeah, it's, Norm just, it's normally, a bit tinny. Yeah, yeah, normally it's a lot clearer. Oh, like, okay. it should be a lot clearer between these two headsets. Like, Echo, Echo, Charlie, brother. No, 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 it's just like the quality should be a lot better. But um, I've got to figure that out. I was joking. Yeah. I'm jamming, I have no sense of humour. Yeah. That is well. What do I do here? Oh, it's so hard with you on the back. <laughs> the balance is like totally thrown. Oh, sorry. It's turning green. Whoa! I told you it's turning green. Whoa! <laughs> 
stay perfectly still. <laughs> I'm trying. I'm trying. <laughs> don't fart. Just don't fart. Hold it in. Hold it in. <laughs> hold it in. Wow, this is some hectic traffic. Why so bad? Christmas holiday? Say again? Christmas holiday? No, it's just because of the construction works up ahead. It's just stuffing up the whole traffic flow. Probably, I would say. Where's your camera? Yeah, it's mounted on my handlebars. Oh, why is that? I uh, just wanted to get some footage of us on the bike. Oh, nice. What a wanker. Sorry? What a wanker? Yeah. Your hoodie is flicking me in the face constantly. Oh, sorry. It's really annoying. Like, you need to tuck those things in. I don't want to look. I'm cutting my eyes. I'm cutting my eyes. The Prism's inbuilt microphones are quite good. Um, it has three settings, which is off, low gain, and high gain. Uh, let's go through some pros and cons. Pros, uh, it works straight out of the box. Uh, just give it a charge, put it where you want it, and you're ready to go. It is a really small camera because you don't have to put a waterproof case on it. The mount options are really good, and you get quite a lot of different types of them with the box. I can confirm that it's waterproof to at least heavy torrential rain. Uh, not sure on one meter, I don't want to test it, I don't want to break my camera. You can use your Bluetooth device, or your Bluetooth headset I should say, to control the camera, which is awesome. If you're riding and your camera is behind you, uh, you can't turn around and hit record or stop, but because you can control it from your Bluetooth headset, you can press a button on your headset, stop it, start it, change it from different recording modes. And now we'll start on some of the cons. Number one, in 1080 mode, which is its maximum resolution, 30 frames per second is all you're going to get. At 720, you will get 60 frames per second, and then yet at an even lower quality, you can get up to 120. Now, this isn't an issue for me because I don't record at 1080 normally. I record at 720 in 60 frames per second. So for my purposes, this camera is fine. Another con as I've mentioned previously, is the inability for it to play music while you record. Now, this is a minor con because hopefully in future firmware updates, Sina will rectify this and you'll be able to listen to music while you record your voice. One of the most worrying things about it is when you've connected your Sina to your computer and you're copying files off the SD card, it gets extremely hot more so than a GoPro would, or I don't know if any of the other manufacturers have this issue, but it gets really hot, so much so that I'm actually worried it will do some damage to the hardware. Cena has said that this is normal and it should be fine, but I'm still worried about it. So once you've turned on and copied and started copying, make sure that as soon as you finish copying, you turn your prism off. You can leave it connected and charge it. It doesn't heat up when charging, just when copying files. After the heavy rains, I did notice that the lens in the camera did have some moisture in it and I did have some fogging issues for a few days. I could have fixed this by putting the camera in a bowl of rice, but I didn't and it's fine now. It just uh, was a bit foggy for a few days. One of the biggest cons in my opinion, and still not that bad, is the capacity of the SD cards that you can use. At the moment, and probably in this iteration of the Cena Prism, 32 gigabytes is the maximum. I would have loved to have seen or been able to put a 64 gigabyte card in. It just means you can record for longer without having to worry about copying files over. If you go on a long trip, you don't need to bring spare cards with you or anything like that. If your current setup or you're wishing to have a new setup, that uses a third-party microphone that connects to the camera for recording audio and you don't wish to use a Bluetooth headset to record the audio, you're going to be out of luck with the Prism because it does not have an audio in port. It is specifically designed to only record its own microphones or from a Bluetooth headset. Alright, so there's a fair few cons, but in my opinion, uh, the cons aren't really that bad like if you don't record in 1080 at 60 fps it doesn't matter 
If you don't mind having a 32 gigabyte card or that's all you have anyway, doesn't matter. If you don't want to use an external, uh, a third party microphone, you're fine. Now the big question is, what do I think about the Prism? I love it. I think it's great. It has made recording and editing a lot easier for me because I don't have to worry about charging three separate devices just to get my audio. I just connect it directly to the Cena headset that I have, the 20S, and I can record it. It sounds great. It's all synced up. If I ride with other people, all their audio is on mine and it's just so much easier to do. The mounting options for it are awesome. The quick release mount system is great for if I want to take it off my helmet and stick it on the handlebars for time lapse footage or just a different view. And hopefully in future Cena will update the firmware of the Prism to enable you to listen to music while you record, which is my main gripe with it at the moment. I would love to be able to listen to music and record. So in conclusion, if you're looking for an entry or just something different, something easier to motor vlog with or record video. I highly recommend the Prism. It has really good features and the quality is great. Absolutely no problems whatsoever yet. So if you have any questions or I haven't covered something that you'd like to know, please leave a message in the comments below. Read through it first, see if somebody else hasn't already asked the question and I've answered. If there's enough questions of the same thing, I will make a video about it, describe it in more detail, etc. If you've enjoyed this video, please hit the like button. If you want to see more of my videos, please hit subscribe. And as always guys, ride safe and be safe. And I'll see you guys next time!